Hello, let me show you a simple trick that you can use to have the same tool bit, have different speeds, different feed and spindle speeds in the same job. It is something very easy to do, but sometimes you just have to see it in order to realize it can be done so easily. Here is a body that I've created to illustrate what I want to show you. I will have to make a profile outside, a pocket here and a helix for this hole. So let's go to the path workbench, select the body, create a new job and I will select the template that I have. You can also edit all the parameters from this screen here I will use extend models bound box with zero on all sides and the default tool that I have for this template is a six millimeters end mill with 3000 horizontal and vertical feed speed and a spindle speed of 18,500 let's close the job and make the operations first of all let's create a profile I won't select anything click on the profile tool it will automatically make the outer profile you can see it here a step down of three millimeters which is half of the tool diameter this is also set up in the template click ok now let's make the pocket i will select the bottom of the pocket click on the pocket tool click on apply it has a zigzag i don't like it because the edges won't be finished correctly so let's change the pattern to offset or zigzag offset whatever you prefer now you can see it also moves along the edges make a helix operation select the job click on the helix button it will automatically add the hole to the base geometry click on apply click on ok and now I have the helix ready to. The problem here which is specific to smaller machines when milling this hole it has a very 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 quick movement on x and y which might lead to some vibrations and if milling wood for example for the profile there will be small lines because of the nature of the grain and how it is cut and I want to be able to mill this hole with the same tool bit but with a much smaller speed so I won't have those shakes of the machine and for the profile I want a final pass with the whole height of the cutting edge engaged which will result in a very smooth finish but I have to go slower so how do I do that double click on the job go to the tools tab I will click on the name of the already existing tool bit and I will call it six millimeters end mill fast click on add add another six millimeters end mill rename it slow give it some speeds 2000 horizontal feed the vertical can still be 3000 the spindle also 18500 and I want it to move much slower for the helix so I'll click add again click on the six millimeters end mill again rename it you can give it whatever name you want I will give a horizontal speed of 800 and the vertical of 800 also let's give it a smaller spindle at 12500 click on ok and now let's go first to the helix go to tool controller and select six millimeters very slow click on apply click on ok now for the profile in order to be able to make a final pass and to remove all the lines I have to make a trick you can see it in the video about better finishing when profiling but here is a quick guide to how to do it open the operation go to extra offset add an extra offset of 0.1 millimeters you can see it slightly moved outside copy the operation here is the button and double click on the operation remove the extra offset go to depth go to step down and give it a value equal to the start depth minus the final depth which in my case is 40 of course assuming that my tool bit has a 40 millimeters cutting edge otherwise this will lead to some burn in the wood assuming you have a long enough cutting edge on the tool bit making the step down equal to the total height of the body will leave a perfect finish so close the profile but you can see we still have them separated so double click on the job go to work plan select the final profile and click on the up button until is next to the initial profile so this is a trick that I wanted to show you which is very useful in a lot of situations when different operations require different speeds of the tool bit to avoid making separate jobs you can just go to the tools and add the same tool bits over and over again as many times as you want with different settings thank you for watching and see you next time